Big rig Yeah. Huh. Celebrity, was <laughs> When I, I got a red golden doodle. He's an Aussie doodle yeah. and I have a, a white golden doodle. I'll get your signature when you barely well, took mine home. <laughs> just got a haircut and just took him to the house. Yeah, he just got a haircut, but they kind of messed up his hair. <laughs> you ready, brother? No. Uh, hold on. You gotta wait until you do that. Hey, uh, go ahead and release your brakes, that guy. All right, guys, I'm getting inspected, One. and the inspector knows who I am. <laughs> he said before she leaves, I'm getting her autograph. <laughs> oh, my God, dude, this is the worst time, bro. You get a bolt? I had to take an emergency poop right at this truck stop right. right down the street. All right, guys, I wish I would have got this on record, but I got a sticker. I passed my inspection. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. This, this inspector says he knows me. He's the pebble, I guess. Instead of the rock, he's the pebble. I don't know. They're messing with me or what. But I, I gotta go in and get my paperwork while I'm holding my poop in my pants. <laughs> All right, Zeke, we gotta go get our paperwork. Going to get my paperwork, woo woo, from the pebble. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> My last inspection was last July. 7.15. I knew it was a really long time ago. They were messing with me. They were messing with me. They told me, get in the, get in the truck, guys. Go on. They had a, the oversized load guy. <laughs> There was an oversized load guy here when I was trying to park. Bro, I've never got pulled into this way scale before. So I was confused on how to park. So I was just pulling up right there trying to park. And then I knew there was an oversized load, but I didn't know his load was hanging over that far. <laughs> I tried to park next to him. <laughs> I tried to park next to him and then I seen how wide his load was. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> So then I had to pull around. The DOT guy came from the garage and was like, or some, somewhere from the oversized load guy that was parked here. And then <laughs> he came over there and told me to park right there. And he's like, come into the bay. Have you ever, when's the last time you got an inspection? I'm like, uh, it's been a really long time. And so they gave me a level one. I got my, <laughs> I'm out of breath right now. I got my inspection sticker. Um, and that guy was acting like he knew me, but he said the oversized load driver uh said do you know who that is and they said that they said that the big rig becca so he was acting like he knew me he didn't know me but i remember that inspector for last time i came through here they were like this station was kind of closed i thought and he was the only one here he was standing outside and i came through and i think <clears throat> i don't know what happened but he just he i rolled the window down and he asked me what i do with my money and then i told him and then he let me go <laughs> and I just drove off but um that is oh my god this is so funny he said that he's famous he's the pebble because <laughs> he, he looks like a little rock that is so funny like rock uh what's that guy's name the famous the rock I forgot I don't I forgot his real name um but they're saying he's the pebble because he's a smaller version <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I did let my dookie out though in that DOT office. I really had to go, so they were they called me way off guard. And he said <laughs> he said acting like he knew me. Oh man, I wish I I wish I could have talked to the whoever had the oversized load because I'm so embarrassed. I tried to park next to you. <laughs> All right, I gotta go, bro. All right, guys, so. I had the, I got that inspection, my truck passed, but my trailer didn't because the ABS brake light, the ABS uh, trailer light thing is malfunctioning. 
So it didn't turn on when they did the little brake test. The light, the ABS light didn't turn on. So I have to get that fixed now. <clears throat> so this delivery, this little mini delivery I got here. Ooh, nice pee, boy. No, <laughs> this, this load that I'm delivering in the morning, I can't deliver till 8 a.m. So I'm thinking I might try to get my trailer fixed at the Love. It's right down the street from it um, before I deliver so then I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to wait till 8 a.m. And then have to go get my trailer fixed and wait in line. So, um, maybe. I don't know what to use. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I am so brain farty. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was saying. Zeke, I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, so I don't have to forget what <laughs> so i don't have to worry about fixing my trailer after my delivery because i have to wait till eight already so and then i feel like if i get my trailer fixed first before my delivery then i can just head straight to my pickup because i already booked my next pickup crap i'm not getting me booking loads on all oh, but i was driving so i couldn't really what are you doing bro you just always need me to touch you don't you what do you want? What do you want? You're ugly now. You got a haircut. You're so ugly. No, I'm cute anymore. <laughs> Why'd they cut your nose? It's not symmetrical, Zeke. I'm not symmetrical. <laughs> but yeah, your girl Big Rig Becca booked her own load with this Lone Wolf program. Uh-huh. Second load I booked by myself. Let's go. And I did book it for the guy's the guy posted it for the 8th but it was really the 7th he lied to me but he fixed it I told him I was like I I was looking for the 8th and this is supposed to be picking up for the 8th not the 7th and he's like I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the 8th <laughs> but anyways second load I'm picking up with the Lone Wolf program uh, as a company driver I'm booking my own loads getting that experience in you know what I'm saying <laughs> but yeah I'm in the middle of Utah right now I'm in the middle of nowhere off of 6 so, this is great. Thought they had some pizza in here, but they only had Subway. The pizza was shut down. I was so mad. So mad. I also don't know what the commodity is of my next pickup. Um, didn't really give that information. Uh, I think it's gonna be like some a concrete brick. My friend Carlos said. So we'll see. We'll see on that. I hope it's just one concrete brick. Make it easy. It's going to Loveland, Colorado. I'm trying to get out of Utah because this Utah area is not good for loads right now. The market is just horrible here. I'm, I'm never going to come here again. This is the wrong choice, guys. But I love coming to Utah. I love going through Moab. But not not popping right now. It's not popping. Not pop a lock and not popping dropping it. Pop, lock, and drop it. <laughs> good morning, guys. We are now heading to our delivery. We're not delivering this till 8 because I'm pretty sure it is a job site at a hospital. So I'm rolling through six right now in uh, Utah. Go through all the scenery, the janineries. So I'm uh, I'm like 40 miles out, 40 miles out to my delivery. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna just go there early, see see what it's looking like, see what's going on, and then uh, hopefully they get me in and out of there. I can my trailer fixed, my ABS light fixed at the Loves. That is something I've never had to get repaired before, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna say I got an ABS malfunction. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm gonna hit you back when we get to my delivery. park on the side of the street. I called ahead of time to see if there's any specific delivery instructions, which you always want to do that uh, if you're delivering to like a job site or something. I've seen it was a hospital, so uh, 
I wasn't sure where they were gonna want me to pull in at. Obviously, I could not pull in their parking lot. So uh, he told me to park on the side of the street, and right now I do not know what to do. <laughs> Is he gonna unload me on this busy street? I hope not. But uh, I don't know if I should walk in there or call him again. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Ziki, what we do? How we gonna get unloaded, Ziki? street right now <laughs> outside of a hospital got a little hospital delivery <laughs> I'm to roll my straps up ooh, ooh. oh I think he's waiting for me to roll my straps up gosh darn it gosh darn it Becca always in the way gosh darn it Becca he's unloading me from the back with this thing <laughs> With this big ass fork that we got. That's fucking awesome. Let's go, buddy. He knows how he knows how time works. He knows time is valuable. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. He's unloaded me from the back, guys. He said ain't no time to waste. <laughs> how much that forklift costs. Thing stretches across my whole trailer. got about two more pilots left. This guy's ain't playing no games. This guy ain't playing no games. We got two more left. Getting loaded on the street in Utah. Racing Utah with a beautiful view. Look at that view. Woo! Don't you know when you bark at people they don't think you're nice? Huh? Zuki, hey, you be nice. Oh! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it smells really good out here. Does not smell like this in Ohio, that's for sure. It smells good. All right, looks like there's nobody in their repair garage, so we are working on tires. But I'm about to go check in at this Love's. Hopefully it ain't that big of a line, that big of a weight, or they got slow workers. This is a small Love's. All right, y'all, I'm 50 miles from my pickup. And this guy just said it's going to be a while before I can be seen. He said it's probably gonna be like three hours at this Loves in Springville, Utah. So this there, this company's really strict about safety, man. Real or strict, really strict. They don't play about their safety. So we gotta sit here and wait. I think I think Milo can pick up till five. I should be good. Hopefully, I don't know how long they're gonna take to look at my actual trailer. And then I gotta drive an hour down the road to pick up my load. So it's gonna be a late start today. Woo! It is what it is. Hey y'all, I've been at this Loves for like five hours. I'm not lying to you. I'm trying to get my ABS light fixed on my trailer. I've been here for five hours, it's not focusing. But anyways, um, trying to get the ABS light fixed on my trailer since it's that violation I got the other day. Um, and I just, they're not getting me in. They got the same truck in here. Hold on, after this flatbed passes. The same truck that was in the garage when I got here is still in the garage. The maroon bobtail right there. Um, so this loves, there. they do not believe in working fastly. They do not believe in getting other trucks in. <laughs> um, he told me three hours, it's been five, and they still got the same truck in. And that guy's actually ahead of me too, the white, the white cab right there. Uh, 
I had to contact the broker that I booked a load with and let him know um, that I might not be able to make it and he said that this load is on a schedule so we are gonna have to cancel this load on you and if you think you can make it in time let me know I'd love to give you back the load so that was really nice of him uh, I was not expecting that um, I was kind of scared to cancel a load on somebody. <laughs> this is my first time doing that. And um, But anyways, I'm about to go in and probably get some chicken nuggies. And uh, wait for this loves. Wait for this loves to come fix my trailer. So, after like six or seven hours, we finally got into the bay. They're checking our ABS light right now. They're checking us out. Um, so, I've been here for like six, seven hours. Had to cancel my load. And now when I pulled up right here, up here to back up into the bay, I had another problem pop up with my truck. It wasn't letting me back up. It was saying uh, transmission, serv transmission service requested, uh, shifting not allowed, wasn't letting me reverse. This happened at our shop like a week and a half ago. So I think I'm gonna have to take my truck to an MHC now, which is a whole nother issue. So I think I might be in Utah this whole weekend, guys. Benji, I think we're stuck. I think we suck here. I think we suck here, guys. <laughs> oh, uh, I got the verdict. I got the verdict. You guys, I sat here. I delivered my load this morning. I got here at the Slows at 8, 8.30 in the morning. Checked in at the Loves garage. And I stayed here. Stayed here for about seven hours. Backed up into the bay. Mechanic got all done. Walked up to my truck. And you know what he tells me? There's nothing wrong with my ABS light. Nothing. Nothing's wrong with my ABS light. There's nothing wrong. It's perfectly fine. It's working perfectly normal. I canceled my load today, people. I canceled my load. I sat here all day. All day. Ready to look for a load tomorrow, Zeke? In this horrible market in Utah? You ready to find another load, bro? Huh? You better be ready. 5 a.m. sharp. <laughs> Don't talk back to me. Good morning, guys. It's your girl, Big Rig, back here. We just got a load of bricks. We're about to get bricked up in Utah. <laughs> You ready to get bricked up, Zeke? <laughs> All right, I got like a 40 mile dead end. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that's the full route. That's the full route. Nope. <laughs> no, sir. That's not what I want. Um, This is the address, I believe. I believe. Come on, come on. We gotta go. We gotta go. It took it took a minute to get this load you guys but it's a 47 minute drive it took a minute to uh, this broker thought I said I was gonna pick it up Monday I'm like no I need to pick it up today I need to pick it up today man we stuck in Utah with these crappy rates I should have never came to Utah oh my god that was the like, worst decision of my life you have flat baby people did not come to Utah <laughs> all right but I'm about to go pick up this brick ooh, ooh. we're at interstate brick I just went and checked in. Got one truck ahead of me. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Ooh, he got the black rims. He all, he all blacked out. Or those are just uh, rotted. <laughs> Sorry. Not trying to be a hater. I need some hater aid today. Big Rick Becker needs some hater aid. About to get loaded with some brake, guys. Looks like it's all wrapped in plastic. I hope I get the ones wrapped in plastic. I was gonna use my V boards for this. Got those free V boards at my last pickup. Ooh, look at all the mountains. Utah is so beautiful, guys. I would love to live here. This is where I check out, she said, right here. About to get bricked up. <laughs> all right, load check, load check. This is how we're loaded, this is how we're loaded. Should be good, should be good. All right, I'm about to get my straps out. Get her strapped down. Oh, my trailer's kind of tilted. I think I'm on a slope.
Alright guys. <laughs> Sorry, I just took a bite of quesadilla. I just took a pit stop in Laramie, Wyoming. I was getting some stomach pains. I'm, uh, I'm hungry. I'm starving. I followed this guy parked on the side of the road because his truck stop's full. I'm at the Big D truck stop. I'm trying to get some Papa John's, but they were closed. They were closed, Ziki Poo. They let us down. Um, but there is a Maria's Mexican Grill and Cantina right across the street from this truck stop. And they just, looks like they just opened. It says now open. Looks like they got some bomb food. I'm about to dig in. I got some steak quesadillas and some rice. I got a side of rice. I got my pico, pico de gallo, however you say it. <laughs> about to grub and then uh, get, about, get on back on down the road. My, so my stomach pains are going away. We'll go away. Y'all, I slept in Burns, Wyoming last night and I almost ran out of fuel while I was sleeping. Oh no, I had to pull right into the fuel aisle. <laughs> I didn't even get my breakfast, I didn't even go to the bathroom. <laughs> but I'm about run out of fuel in Burns, Wyoming. Nobody wants to be stuck in Wyoming. <laughs> damn tire all right y'all i'm about to safely limp this tire to the closest loves how can i get a break can i get a break baby oh my god can i get a break can i get a freaking break In that video y'all ever seen that video that guy's like just look at it just look at it all you can do is just look at it with 
you look at it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What is going on? There's still air coming out of it. so weird. This was definitely a retread, dude. <sighs> well, it looks like it's gonna be a while before anybody can come get me fixed up. We're probably gonna be sleeping here, most likely. <sighs> what else? What else can go wrong? What else can go wrong? I don't want to know. We and checked in with the loves this morning. I already got two trucks in that B. <laughs> I gotta walk all the way back to my truck. I hope it don't start raining. <laughs> That'd be my luck, right? Start raining, just pouring down some hard, vicious rain while I walk to my truck. That's that big rig back of luck. <laughs> Ooh, look at that Wiley truck. All right. I just walked past this truck driver down there with his hood open. And he asked me if I could swim. I said, yeah. And he said, oh girl, then we need to get you in a bikini. <laughs> what? He's like, you know, got a pool and a jacuzzi. And like a He's like, if you, if you want to go, it's something to think about. I'm like, no. I just got to check into the shop. I got I got stuff to do. And he goes, oh, well, it's something to think about. He's like, I'm sorry. He's like, you know, I don't live the normal truck driver, truck driver lifestyle. I wanted to be like, well, I do. <laughs> well, I do, and I do not got time to swim. <laughs> All right, guys, they got some music in the background. I might get in trouble for recording in here on my YouTube. Can't play no music. Um, I finally got into the garage. Oh, my God. What time is it? Hold on. Yeah, so it's noon. It's noon. Just got into the garage. I already put my laundry in. It's in the dryer. So I did get some laundry done. My truck is in the shop now. And it's about to be getting worked on in a couple minutes. And I did get my headache rack door damaged somehow. Um, some guy stopped me on the highway yesterday and said my door was opened. So I don't know if it got hooked on my hoses or if it just wasn't shut all the way or what's going on there but it got damaged and one of the Lowe's workers said he's gonna try to take a sledgehammer to it and try to fix it because my boss said to like bring it to a shop I didn't think they did anything with headache racks here at these shops but they'll try to bend it back I guess and now we wait for the truck to be ready wait guy too wait guy too <laughs> PM, I got a brand new Michelin tire. No retread. No retread. Got a brand new one. Got a brand new baby right here. Right her. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to get. Alright, bruh. Who did it? Who did it? I wanna know. Who cursed me? <laughs> Who cursed me? <laughs> oh, my drug broke down. I say I run it, run it, cause I'm in control. Hitting out, it couldn't see a couple shots of patrol. I ain't feeling night, I get your eyes to pay. Party pop, shot the sister coming with me tonight. I ain't selling the linen, I ain't snapping and popping, neither I'm bobbing my head.